Let's review your answers. I think a good guiding point between discrete or continuous when it comes to figuring out with probability distributions is asking yourself, are you measuring it? Can it be continuous? Or are you counting it in some fashion? Another good way to check if it's discrete is if it can be binomial in nature, if it can be a success or a failure. So the first one, the time it takes a student selected at random to register for the fall semester. Time is measured and is actually continuous. The number of bad checks drawn on a day. That's actually discrete. And we can form, we could, we're, we're getting it by counting the number of items. And we essentially have two categories for the items, good check versus bad check. So a bad check is actually a success here. The amount of gasoline needed to drive your car, that's continuous because it's measured. The number of traffic fatalities per year, I'm counting that measurement, so that's discrete. The distance a golf ball travels after being hit is a continuous measurement. The number of ships in Pearl Harbor, discrete. I'm counting those numbers and the ship is either in Pearl Harbor or not on that given day. And your weight before breakfast each morning, well, you could consider that being categorized into success or failure. We are measuring that amount and it is generally seen as being on that continuous 